Fusion bonded epoxy coated reinforcement is one of the most cost effective and commonly used corrosion protection systems for reinforced concrete. This video shows the various manufacturing steps common to most coating facilities and the specified control tests that ensure a consistently high quality product. Most coating operations involve moving straight lengths of steel through the application process on a rapidly moving conveyor system. Specialized custom coating facilities use a hanger system capable of handling any shape of steel. These coaters primarily coat steel after it's been cut and bent to specification. The process begins with the steel rebar being loaded onto the shakeout table where it's fed onto a conveyor system. Here the steel is visually inspected for oil and grease and other contaminants. A conveyor then moves the steel through a blast cleaner where abrasive steel grit strikes the rebar surface at a high velocity. Mill scale, rust and other surface contaminants are removed. This critical step cleans as well as roughens the surface so that the coating will adhere properly to the steel and is absolutely essential to the coating quality. Bars immediately pass through a powder spray booth where spray nozzles emit a dry epoxy powder. The spray guns impart an electrostatic charge to the powder particles. Charged powder particles are drawn to the grounded steel resulting in complete and even coating. As the dry powder hits the hot steel, it melts and flows into the peaks and valleys on the surface of the steel, covering and conforming to the bars. Following the powder application, the coating is allowed to cool. During this period, usually 30 to 40 seconds, the coating cures to a hardened state and develops most of its beneficial properties. A water quench, shown here, or air quench, often follows the curing period to quickly cool the bars and facilitate handling.